Natalia Henderson Smith had twins November 22nd. That was the day before Thanksgiving. Well, now she has another day to give thanks, February 23rd. That's the day her little boy was brought back to life, thanks to quick thinking and a calm reaction. And only on KETV News Watch 7, you can hear it all happen. Three-month-old Joshua almost lost his life two weeks ago. Natalia, his mom, says while lying on the living room floor, Joshua suddenly stops breathing. I was scared because I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, you know, if my son is going to make it. That's all I was worried about. Like, is he going to make it? So Natalia calls 911. Listen. 911, any police, fire, medical? Medical. My two-month-old just stopped breathing out of nowhere, and I need an ambulance. Is he breathing now? No. While the emergency call goes out to police, the dispatcher tells her to start CPR. 30 chest compressions, followed by two breaths into his nose and mouth. Then, the first responder on the scene, Officer Kevin Chexfield. Are the police there with you? I'm here, it's police. Are they still doing CPR? I'm working on it. All right, two breaths, 30 compressions, you got it? I got you. Thank you. Probably the worst call that I've been on in the scheme of things because he was just so helpless. Chexfield doesn't remember how long he did the CPR. Felt like an eternity, let me tell you. Uh, probably one of the scariest things that I've had to do in my career as a law enforcement officer. But it leads to one of the best moments in his career. Listen closely. There we go. I can tell him that he's breathing now. Yes, he is. I heard the greatest sound I've ever heard in my life, and that is just a baby gasping for a breath and his eyes opening up and just kind of coming back to life in front of us. Natalia's thankful for what everyone did that day to save her son. Turns out Yashua had a bout of RSV, but he's over it. He's doing a whole lot better, so I'm good. And since Yashua's doing better, so doing is Officer now. Chexfield. Uh, he's gonna be a strong kid, he's gonna be a fighter. I mean, that's a lot to go through as a little kid, so I'm hoping he makes a great recovery and lives a great life. He's got a guardian angel. Where's Blue? Not necessarily. I did what 800 other officers in the Omaha Police Department would do. Well, he's full of life now. Chexfield says that when he went home that night and hugged his kids, it was just a little bit tighter. Whole incident reinforcing just how fragile life is. Now, he claims he is not a hero, but I know a mom and a three-month-old boy who would tend to disagree with that. Yeah. <laughs>